University of Pittsburgh at Johnstown. These are the Mountain Cat cheerleaders, and this campus is definitely something to cheer about. I can barely keep them at bay. So, without further ado, I'm Natalie at University TV. This is PJ the Mountain Cat, and let's get this tour started. Woo! The University of Pittsburgh at Johnstown is located in Johnstown, among the Laurel Highlands of Western Pennsylvania. The Johnstown Incline Plain is the steepest in the world. This view is crazy. We're one of the very affordable cities, uh, probably in the whole country. It's a very affordable place to live, but yet we have proximity to a lot of really cool things. You're only, uh, you're not that far from Pittsburgh. You're only about 70 miles from Pittsburgh, and there's certainly a lot of uh, sports, national sports teams. We're only a three-hour drive from Washington, D.C., so you can essentially be there and back in a day. We're not that far from New York City. Um, the beach, you know, maybe a six, seven-hour drive. Just 10 minutes from downtown, this 650-acre picturesque campus features a nature reserve with hiking trails. They're gorgeous. Whew. Plus, a state-of-the-art performing center and leading conference and wellness centers. There's actually a big hill down by the wellness center where we've been sled riding, and it's a big hill. It used to be, they used to have skiing here, or a ski slope, and that's where we went down, so it's a good time to go down there and sled ride. <laughs> Kit Johnstown enrolls 3,000 full-time students with a male-female ratio of 53 to 47. The student body has an ever-growing international population representing 27 countries. The university is considered moderately selective. Admission decisions focus more on academic background than standardized test scores. The total annual cost of attendance for in-state tuition is $12,000 and room and board is $8,000. More than 80% of students receive some type of financial aid. Pitt Johnstown offers 46 undergraduate majors, including the new Bachelor of Science in Nursing, biochemistry, and computer engineering technology, and three graduate programs through the University of Pittsburgh. Our faculty are, are directly connected to the community that they live in. Uh, myself, for example, I have a, a tremendous working relationship with the Johnstown Area Heritage Association, with the National Park Service. Uh, I have students right now doing internships at the Heritage Discovery Center with the National Park Service and it's that kind of relationship that I build that helps me to place students when they leave here. And I know that other faculty and other departments have the exact kind of relationships uh, with other organizations in Johnstown, in Western Pennsylvania and beyond. Johnstown offers a comprehensive range of majors for a relatively small college. Some of the most popular include business, education, engineering technology, and pre-professional programs for the medical professions. We get a lot of hands-on opportunity, and by the way, not many schools which are of our school size have an instrument, a quarter of a million dollar instrument like this. Once a year, they do a sort of a showcase of student research and student activity and it showcases a lot of these projects that the students have done and just walking through it is uh, absolutely impressive. I do think I'm getting a very, very valuable education here. Uh, like I said, the student faculty ratio is 18 to 1. Um, you know, it's very, very personable. Uh, they're, you know, they're very easy to talk with, very easy to interact with um, and they're right, you know, they're always available to help you when you need them to help. It's nice to have a small classroom setting just because you actually get to know your classmates and you make connections and you actually get to meet your professor and you get to know them, which is awesome because that way it helps out with just networking. I know my, all my students personally by their first name. Um, often at times they come to my house too. I've invited some of them once they are done with my class. I've cooked for them. Um, once they cook for me <laughs> in my own house. Um, it's a phenomenal uh, teacher-student relationship and I think you cannot achieve that in a classroom of 200. The 11 Mountain Cat athletic teams stay ferocious as members of the NCAA Division II and the West Virginia Intercollegiate Athletics Conference. Pitt Johnstown athletes have won championships in men's baseball, wrestling, and basketball. Pitt Johnstown knows moving away from home is hard, so they want to offer you the highest quality residential living experiences. Waste no time getting well acquainted with your peers and the 85 student clubs on campus. You can go Greek by joining one of the three sororities or five fraternities. The favorite thing that I've done so far 
is um, is definitely just the opportunities on campus. Um, there's like the College of Republicans that I got to sit down and um, hear from a lot of the, the politicians fr from the local area. So I got to um, see kind of how they were rep representing our area. And then we would have uh, different speakers come in um, even from out of area, even on a national level. Each spring, we bring in big names for our annual spring concert. Um, last year, we had Jason Derulo and Sean Kingston, and uh, I mean, that did great. There's a concrete canoe team. Yeah, the concrete canoe team advanced to the national level for the third time in four years. This thing actually floats. <laughs> The Pitt Johnstown Concrete Canoe Team has won its regional competition and progressed to the National Concrete Canoe Competition, NCCC, in four of the last five years. Thanks for joining PJ and me on our tour of the University of Pittsburgh at Johnstown. For University TV, I'm Natalie. Now go take a hike. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.